Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today is a pretty exciting day because I'm going to be building, reviewing, and placing the new Mighty Bowser set. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I can't believe I haven't built it yet. But today we're going to be vlogging the entire experience. Actually, earlier today I started working on the Winter Village 2.0 with the raised platform. That's how far I got. I don't know if you can hear my baby in the background. And that's why that's how far I got. <laughs> and that's why it's going to take me a little bit longer to build the Bowser set, which is over here on my desk. We've been doing lots of stuff, though. Like, we placed the bowling alley recently. I also have the Venetian houses that I've got to build and place here in the LEGO City. And I don't know. I just sort of feel like building something different. And this mighty Bowser looks like something different it looks incredible look at the box art he is massive i can't wait to just like see him in person it's going to be awesome there's 2807 pieces in this set here which is 71411 and i think this might be my new favorite nintendo set on the back of the box here you can see his epic shell also you can see that his head turns He's got like flames coming out of his mouth and his mouth, does it open up as well? Yeah, it must. Very neat. And then you can see the size of it. 29 centimeters or 11 and a half inches wide and he is 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters tall. So he's as wide as he is tall. What a stocky gentleman. The parts are divided into 22 bags and the instruction manual has some additional information about Bowser the origins of Bowser in the video game, and also the evolution of Bowser in Lego form. There's not much of an evolution. It started in 2020, so there hasn't been too many Bowsers. It also features some of the other epic Nintendo sets. It showcases what this Bowser can do. Oh, can he interact with it? I guess he can. Awesome. And there's what our bags create. Looks like the first thing you build is the stand for Mighty Bowser, and then bags 5 through 22 build Bowser. Real quickly, check it out. Banana for scale. I've got the first of four instruction manuals done on the UCS Razor Crest. Now, I just want to quickly talk about something here in regards to the channel and the progress I'm making on videos such as the review of this Razor Crest. The reality of the channel for me has changed. I used to be able to run to the Lego store, buy this Lego set, build it in one day, have the review of the next day, work for 16 hours straight and get her done. But now I can only work for six to eight hours a day tops because there's so many situations in the day that I have to help with the twins because dealing with twin babies is a two person job for the most part. It is difficult. It is one of the most challenging things that Jose and I have ever done in our lives. Actually, it is the most challenging thing that I've ever done in my life. And you know what? That's another thing too, is Jose is dealing with the twins full time. So I'm actually out an employee right now as well who would help with building and help with reviewing and stuff like that. So I'm short employee. I can't work as much. The Razor Crest probably take what, 12 hours to build? So to build and review, call it 16 hours, maybe something like that. So I would have to sit down for two days straight to get my build and review done. And the issue with that is, is right now, I'm producing the, the video for tomorrow. So I am operating on a day-to-day -day basis and I like to upload every single day. So if I wanted to do a Razor Crest review, which a lot of channels have already done, then I would have to skip one or two uploads just to get that video done because it takes a long time to build these sets, especially when you're dealing with spins. So that's why I have not done my Razor Crest review yet just because I simply don't have the capacity of building this thing and reviewing it in a single day. And that's why I'm sort of falling behind and the channel has sort of shifted into different things like Lego City updates and stuff like that, vlog style stuff like this because I simply just, I'm operating way different in our new reality and our new lifestyle. Will it go back to normal? Eventually, yes. But it's like we're juggling babies but you know, like it's, it's back and forth every single half hour period. We're dealing with a different baby and it's just the way it is. And when those two align, when you have to be, deal with both of them at once, it's hard. <laughs> All right, let's start building the Bowser set.
I guess I'm sort of contradicting myself, eh? Why am I starting Bowser when I could just finish building the Razor Crest? Because the Bowser set's older, technically, I guess, and I really want to build Bowser. I'm actually using my tablet for instructions. That's the Razor Crest instructions right there. But I have limited space because I'm building up here in the dark, and it is 1134 at night. So that's when I'm starting the Bowser. Just sort of a little bit of reality here. I'm building at night on this table and taking care of babies at the same time. Right off the hop, I can tell that I'm going to love this build here. The base is just going to be massive, just so thick. And so is Bowser. He's a big, bold boy. Look at uh, my dog. She's on her pillow fortress. But there you go. That's how far I got before getting distracted. She's hungry. <laughs> it's going to be a long build. Asbestos in the ceilings. These are silent killers. You are the silent killer. Go back to the annex. All right, so it's now approaching 2 a.m. and I've got the base done. Once again, banana for scale, everybody. Pretty cool base there, pretty large. I love this tile work with the dark gray tiles, all sorts of different ones there to make a nice texture there. Also, the 2x4 dark red tiles lined with the gold ingots looks really cool. And like the spikes on the base, very Bowser-like. This can pull open because there is a tile that uh, Mario can interact with there. And then we have these large towers on either side that have that Bowser tile and then the flames. And check it out, when you remove this one here, actually has a POW hidden underneath it. Overall, a very good construction and I am enjoying this build. It is fantastic, actually. See, I just got Millie down, right? We finished the base and now Benjamin woke up. Now he's hungry. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle, I tell you. I've got to wait for his food to warm up, so... Couple more minutes, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. See, that's the other thing, too, about building Lego at night. Specifically, Lego sets. Building them when I can. I use them as just something to keep my brain busy between feedings and stuff like that, because I do all the feedings at night. And all the diaper changes and all that stuff, so... I like building Lego sets between all that stuff just to keep me awake because I can't wake up every hour. My brain isn't rigged to do that. I cannot run on one hour of sleep here, one hour of sleep there. I can't do that. So that's why I stay up to like four or five in the morning. And then, uh, yeah, it's just fun to build Lego between those things. Whereas I can't go downstairs and build a Lego city between those things because then I'm running back and up and downstairs all night. It doesn't really make sense, right? So that's why the city or the uh, channel is more so like city content and stuff like that right now, because that's what I can produce during the day. And then I just build Lego sets up here at night. It's now 3 a.m. And what do you know? Now the other baby's up. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, folks. That's how many hours a day you need to reflect. <laughs> it never ends. It's the next day, and I just finished bag number nine, and look at this. We got Bowser. Quite the construction. You can see the outline of his shell there. Some Technic components in the inside. It's very solid. And it's becoming pretty large. You can see his belly right there. This is where his head's going to go. That's where his arms are going to go. And I think bag number 10 is when we start constructing his legs. I've got to come downstairs here and grab more bags. I was just talking with Jose about the channel. And we were coming up with an idea about the Lego city and the Lego room. And it involves content. What we were thinking we might try, don't mark my words on this, but we might take a week off of uploading on the channel. And we might spend that entire week working on projects in the Lego room such as the Lego City, the Winter Village, stuff like that, and film like a very fast-paced video that compiles what we get completed or what we finish within that week. I think that'd be pretty cool because we would accomplish so much in like a 15-minute video. We'd like finish the Winter Village pretty much. We'd get a bunch of stuff done in the Lego City and it'd all be compiled in one awesome video that's like really well edited and stuff like that. I don't know. We're thinking about trying that video style. Just a quick vent there, or not vent, but discussion before I continue with uh, the remaining bags of Bowser.
Look at this guy's legs. Those are beefy. He didn't miss leg day, that's for sure. Look at that. Pretty strong. You know what they should build just like this? King Kong. Wouldn't that be cool? I love these buildable characters. They're pretty fantastic. The next thing that we're going to build is his head. Well, Bowser's looking pretty creepy at this point. We've got like half his head built. Looks possessed. His eyes can rotate. It's quite the construction though. It's pretty fantastic actually. But yeah, that just looks like demonic. There we go. He looks a little bit more like Bowser. Perfect. I like this collar that he's wearing as well with the spikes. And just the way his face is created is amazing. And also we completed the border for his shell. So that's the next thing that we're going to finish building. Woo! The center spikes are done. With the completion of the shell, all we have to do now is give Bowser some arms. Check it out. About to start watching the Rings of Power, of course, after I finish off this video here. Woof, looking pretty good though. I love that shell. It is fantastic. He's giving us the look. He's like, hey, how you doing? Have you ever seen such a grumpy boy? Uh, he's like, ah, he's scared. He's scared of Bowser. <laughs> Grumpy lad. Well, gosh almighty, we got her all built. Building upstairs is pretty inefficient. It's already seven o'clock the next day. Oh my Lord. But this thing looks pretty sweet. I like it. So you pretty much saw everything as we built it, right? Like it's got the nice shell, the legs that can move a little bit there, the tail that can move a little bit as well. And the arms uh, can articulate so they can flex at the elbow joint, and then they can also rotate his hands, and they can move right here as well. One thing I sort of don't like the look of is, you can see like the joints of his arms, like they look pretty thin around the joint part, but I mean, you can't really do anything to fix that with Lego. Overall, it's a really solid construction. It looks phenomenal. Uh, you can move his head back and forth by just pushing this component on the side. You can see it sort of like goes in his body there. So just pushing that back and forth will move his head. You can also fire the fire within his uh, mouth just by flicking this Technic piece on either side. And that will actually open his mouth and fire the bolt. Pretty cool. So yeah, you just flick that and his head will move up and down. His mouth will sort of open and that fire will be released. So pretty cool trigger mechanism there. Uh, overall, it's really well shaped, really well crafted. Uh, definitely my favorite Mario set. He's just like a, a beast. I feel like I have a third baby. <laughs> but yeah, I had a really good time building it today. Now I've got to find the mighty Bowser a home on the shelves. There's the ball of flame that goes in his mouth there and is launched by the spring-loaded shooter. So the neat thing about this set is it can actually fit on a billy shelf. It doesn't have to go on a pack shelf. Now that I know that fact, we can place it with the other Mario sets here in the Lego room. Now I would like to put it somewhere on this shelf, but this shelf is pretty full and it needs to be 13 inches tall. That's the height clearance to place Bowser. So the only shelf that he'll fit on is that one right down there. I had the brilliant idea of just shifting everything down and essentially moving the tall shelf up here where we could fit Bowser. But then I remembered that shelf there doesn't move. Alrighty then, after tons of adjustments, we managed to fit the mighty Bowser on the shelf here right beside the question mark block. Yes, he looks pretty good. So we got the question mark block. Also Mario and Luigi. Just below that, we've got the NES or the Nintendo Entertainment System along with some more of our mini characters. You know what, there's actually more like Toad on Rebrickable.com and I should build some more of those. They're pretty neat. Then down here we've got some characters. Sort of a mess, but I don't know. They look pretty good. I only have one series of the Mario buildable characters. And then we have uh, some Harry Potter stuff. I'll probably sell, no, nope, giveaway or something, do something with this chessboard, maybe part it out. Actually, there's lots of good tiles on there that I could use, but if I play chess with Jose, we definitely just use our regular chessboard. I don't use that one there. And then we've got the Hagrid Huts. And down here, the Hogwarts Moment Sets, which come with tons of minifigures that fell over 100 times. I really should use some minifig stands for those. I don't know why I don't. Probably do that next time I arrange the shelves. Then the Majestic Tiger and also the Ship in the Bottle buried down here. Hey, that's sort of sad. 
Oops, that's a good set. It shouldn't be buried down here. Then we've got the uh, Toys R Us giraffe there. Yeah, but the shelf's looking pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as we very, very, very casually built, reviewed, and placed the new Mighty Bowser set. I had fun with it. I think it's a great build. And uh, yeah, we also talked a little bit about the channel as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And we'll see you again in the near future. Farewell.